this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, as well as Esther, I am going to be joined by Squishy! <laughs> what a perfect landing, Squishy. I can see you're uh, trying as hard as ever to be able to, to fly. Still, still not successful yet, but I believe one day you will be flying. <laughs> but I'm not only going to be joined by Esther and Squishy, I'm also going to be joined by Barnaby and Choo Choo! Good morning, Choo Choo. Are you going to come into the room? He's going to charge. He's going to charge. He's going to stampede. He's building up his energy. And here he goes. I better get out of the way. <laughs> oh, did he get stuck? Did he get stuck? Oh, no. Did you get stuck, Choo Choo? <laughs> oh, dear. Come on. You can do it again. I believe in you. Setting up for the charge. And here he comes. And straight through. <laughs> Nicely done. I was scared you are going to smash through my glass there. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, it's time for my morning cake. And I've had uh, another attempt at uh, trying to use the uh, the secret ingredient uh, to make a lovely cake. And I, I did it a little bit differently. I did uh, things in a different order to try and make it work this time. So uh, let's see if it did. Yum. Mm, 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 mm. Blah, 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 blah. It tasted like vinegar. The cake tasted like vinegar. I didn't put any vinegar in the cake, I promise. That's not one of the ingredients, but it somehow tasted like vinegar. Blah. That was not a pleasant cake, but cake is cake and I love cake, so I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> and anyway, Barnaby, I thought you turned into a pumpkin pie then. I thought that you did a metamorphosis then, but nope. Uh, he's still Barnaby and he's still sleeping in my room at the, the moment. And let me go and grab the pumpkin pie. I might have that later. Right then, uh, let's go and of course now go and head to my, my love garden. Uh, if you haven't seen my videos, the start of every episode, I add someone to my love garden for something awesome that they did or said or sent me or something along those lines and the only rule is is I won't add you if you ask to be added that's the one rule uh, to my love garden and uh, today I am adding Brianna and that's because uh, she said she's my number one fan and she sent me this picture of her surrounded by stampy cat things <laughs> you can see absolutely loads of drawings and uh, I think there's a pillow there maybe and a t-shirt and a hat and even a tiny model she made that you can see her holding and I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the, the drawings and sending the uh, the picture and welcome to my love garden. All right then, well, let's go and uh, as quickly as we can uh, go to the, the dog house. And uh, the reason I want to be quick is because we have a lot to do today. Uh, we're going to be trying uh, to finish off building my Berry Berry in Space game. And uh, we've got uh, some good progress done in the, the last episode, but we still uh, have a lot more to do. And I want to get it 100% done this episode. And uh, I'm going to do that while being joined by Flippy. Flippy, uh, you can come and uh, join me in, uh, in this episode. And Barnaby, where, where's Barnaby? Barnaby, you need to, to come and sit down. There's Flippy. Where's Barnaby? Oh, there you are, Barnaby. You went for a little bit of a, a swim with Squishy, did you? <laughs> All right, then. Uh, let's go and head off to the, the fun land, then. Uh, so as I said in the, the last episode, uh, Viva Dash, my newest Minecraft helper, uh, and, uh, and Squishy did a, a great job by getting most of it done. We got most of the uh, most of the things you look at done. We basically built uh, two different sides uh, that look like two kind of slightly different alien planets, and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, uh, but the game doesn't work yet. So what I need to do today is I need to try and build an x-ray pod. And the, uh, the x-ray pod is basically a way so you can look through the ground to see where the berries are. And so what you need to do is uh, you both bury uh, five berries uh, underground in a little cavern that we're also going to build today uh, Yeah, on your side. You then switch sides and go into the x-ray pod. You have a few seconds to look through the ground to try and see where the berries are. You then go onto the surface of their side and uh, you need to try and dig away five holes to try and find the five berries. And uh, that's basically uh, what the, the challenge is. And uh, whoever find the most berries uh, is going to, to be the uh, the winner. So uh, we've got most of it done uh, so far. Uh, so today we need to build the underground caverns, uh, which uh, Choo Choo and Squishy is going to be doing. And uh, while they do that, I am going to be going to try and build the x-ray pods. And uh, so it's going to be using the, the mechanic I showed in the uh, the last episode, if you saw it, uh, where you basically use a, a piston and glowstone and uh, use it to be able to look through the ground. So it's going to be using uh, that mechanic, uh, but hopefully uh, it's going to look a lot cooler uh, than just a, a random pit in the ground. I'm going to make it look like an alien piece of uh, machinery. And uh, yeah, then that's going to be uh, what you sit in uh, when you're going to, to play the game uh, to, to look through the uh, the ground. Uh, first, I need to do the, the long trek <laughs> all the way over to the, the game. Uh, yeah, as my fun land gets bigger, the um, the tree train starts to look less and less effective, doesn't it? <laughs> it takes so long uh, for me to, to walk to any of my games. I need to, uh, to probably try and find a quicker way to, to get over here. But it doesn't matter uh, because we have 
have almost arrived because here we go. This is Berry Berry 2. Berry Berry in space. <laughs> and you can see that I've kind of fleshed out the uh, the trees a bit more. I uh, basically made the, the whole area look a, a little bit bigger. Uh, but I still need to build my x-ray pod and uh, also the underground cabin. So uh, what we basically need to do is a uh, dig down uh, underneath this area here so we need to go uh, three blocks uh, underneath where the the soul sand is so we're going to be digging around uh, underneath here and then we're going to fill the ground uh, with uh, with sandstone which is going to be the floor uh, but also some uh, some stained clay uh, as well as some uh, some glowstone as well uh, which is going to to light up the the area so it's going to look uh, and let me just do a, a very little mock up uh, just to show you uh, roughly what it's going to to look like so there's going to be a uh, sandstone around here like this and then a little bit of the um, uh, the the clay here as well like this uh, kind of just like uh, what we've done on the the surface up here actually if I just go and uh, dig my way out of this uh, this hole well part my way out of the hole uh, yeah kind of like this uh, this is what all of the uh, the floor and then the uh, the walls are going to look like uh, in the uh, the underground uh, uh, little tunnels down there the little caverns uh, but my minecraft helpers are going to be doing that and while they do that I am going to be trying to, to build the uh, the x-ray pods so um, I think I'm going to do I'll start uh, about one two three four five I think I'll start building the uh, the wall about here and then this is where uh, the x-ray pods uh, are actually going to to be and then uh, one two three four yeah I think this is where I'm going to start building up here because uh, I need to make sure uh, there's room uh, for a little staircase uh, which is going to go underground here to, to either side and tell you what while I'm doing that how about you two have a have a race <laughs> even though it looks like Choo Choo uh, just trapped Squishy in a, a little hole tell you what Squishy you have this side here and uh, Choo Choo uh, you have this side here and then the first person wait don't start yet don't start yet the first person to completely tunnel out the under and then build the the walls and floor will be the winner and uh, if neither of you get it done uh, we'll just see whoever's done the uh, the most progress so that's what the other uh, race is <laughs> and uh, we'll see who the uh, the quickest uh, digger is at the uh, the end of the video so you can begin in a three not yet not yet three two one go 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 dig away dig away right they are both off and uh squishy you seem to be using a pickaxe there we go <laughs> she's using the the right tool now oh uh, yeah so while they're busy doing that i'm gonna build the uh the x-ray pods and let me just show you uh, how it actually works just in case you didn't see the the last episode so basically uh, i come to here and then if i push these uh glowstone blocks out while i'm standing here uh, you'll see that i'm able to to see through the other uh, floor and at the moment <laughs> i can see choo choo uh, hurriedly uh, digging away and i can just about uh, see a little bit of squishy uh, give me a wave, Choo Choo. Just wave to your left, Choo Choo, and uh, you can wave to me. There we go. Kind of close to me. <laughs> so that's how the uh, the X-ray pod's going to, to work. And so I might as well recycle and uh, gather up uh, some of these uh, pistons and redstone. And uh, there's going to be one of them on either side uh, to allow you to, to see through the, the floor. So I think I'm going to start off uh, by building uh, by building them. I'm just going to uh, empty my pockets a little bit as well because I'm a little bit full up right now. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's go and start uh, building these x-ray pods. So there's going to be two little pits uh, down here. And uh, this is where the um, uh, the glowstone and then the uh, the pistons are going to go. So if I uh, jump down here, uh, we need to have the, the pistons uh, going to, to be around about here. And then these are going to get extended and uh, push the, uh, the glowstone out, uh, which is going to be next to the the pistons of course and then this is where you're going to be able to to look through the uh, the walls so if i go and uh, place some sandstone down here uh, then this way uh, you're going to be able to see through that sandstone i'm going to fill some up here as well and then on the the other side uh, we're going to have a little bit more of the uh, the gray wall uh, which is uh, of course for the uh, the actual x-ray pod machine thing <laughs> i haven't come up with a, a cool name for it yet but i'm sure i will do uh, so yeah uh, this is where you're going to going to be and then actually i need to dig this out a little bit further because here there's going to be a lever so you're going to pull the lever and it's going to extend the pistons, but only uh, for a few seconds. And then they're going to go and get pushed back. Uh, so then you can no longer see. So you're literally uh, going to have only about two or even one second uh, to be able to try and work out uh, where all of the uh, the berries are. So let's go and uh, add the uh, the pistons down on this side. And then we can try and link them both up with a, a little bit of redstone uh, just so it actually all works. So I basically just need to do the, uh, the same on this side as I did the other side. Uh, so it's just two pistons, uh, then two glowstones. And then, of course, a little bit of a glap uh, so you can actually go and stand in on it so let's go and fill that in there and now let's try and uh, make it uh, so it actually works so uh, this bit of gray wall here this is where the actual x-ray pod is going to be and uh, eventually i'm going to make it look like a, a piece of alien machine uh, machinery so there's going to be i don't know redstone and levers and i don't know redstone lamps and buttons and as many different uh, mechanical looking items i'm going to go and just completely cover it on uh, on all of them and then yeah hopefully look uh, like a, a cool x-ray pod uh, but the way it actually works is going to be a very very simple and there's a, a few different ways you could uh, you could do this and i think i'm going to do one of the uh, the more simple ways and i'm actually uh, digging down uh, too low i only need uh, to dig to this level here because this i believe is where the the lever is so if i go and uh, switch this uh, lever on 
and then I can check uh, if the uh, the redstone uh, is actually lit if I go and uh, start placing things behind it. So let me go and uh, fill in these gaps again, and if I go and grab some redstone like this, uh, let's see if it's uh, actually working. There we go. You can see that the, the redstone's lit up. So I just need this redstone uh, to go exactly in between where the two pistons in. So I think, uh, there we go, these are the, the pistons here, uh, so it just needs to go exactly uh, in the, the middle uh, of these two pistons. So actually, I think all I need to do is just go like this. And there we go. I heard them get extended out. Let me just go and check uh, that they have both been extended out. And oh, I fell down a hole. <laughs> I think they have been. It's kind of uh, uh, hard to see. Yeah, well, there we go. They've just both been extended out. See how amazingly simple uh, that redstone was to, to do. And so now all we need to do is uh, do a mechanic, which is going to make it so that redstone gets turned off uh, afterwards. So if I make a little pit here like this, uh, it's still going to work, but I can then go and I can put a, uh, a piston down uh, here. And then actually, no, I need to go one further back than that, actually. If I go and uh, put the uh, the piston on the, the back here, and then if, if this piston extends a block, uh, which goes and uh, covers uh, the um, the redstone, it's actually going to turn the redstone off. But we don't want it to do it immediately because we want it to be pushed out a little bit. So if I add some repeaters and delay the, the signal, it means that after a few seconds, it will push the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the pistons back again. Uh, so let me just go and make myself uh, a crafting table. And I'm going to place it on uh, I place it on the, the roof up here so I can access it uh, from either side. So I don't need to make a million crafting tables. And uh, then what I need to do is I go and make myself uh, a load of, uh, of repeaters uh, just to go and uh, delay the uh, the signal. So I need to make uh, a bunch of torches first. And uh, probably about about 10 repeaters should be enough. There we go. 11. One extra for good measure. <laughs> so let me go and uh, grab all of these repeaters here. And so it needs to come off the, uh, the same signal. So if it comes off from here, it can go around to here. And then I just need to do the repeaters. I can just basically wind them up up and down a little bit. If I go, so if I head this way first, like this, and go along to here, and then I can kind of uh, go back this way, maybe actually not, because I need to make sure it ends up going uh, into uh, that, um, yeah, that it need, uh, ends up uh, going into where the piston is. So if I make sure that it ends up going to there, I can just kind of make it zigzag around this area a little bit uh, until it all kind of works out. So if I kind of go, maybe I'll just go along like this, might be a, a nice simple way of doing it. And then it can go around like this, and then it can go like that, maybe. There we go. Uh, this kind of works. I could, if I want, uh, add a, a few more repeaters uh, just to, uh, to make the uh, the signal uh, a little bit slower. Uh, but I think uh, just the, uh, the way it is now uh, should be uh, okay. So I'm going to put a few torches is down uh, just because it's getting quite dark around here and you want to uh, keep the uh, the googlies away and uh, yeah now we can go and uh, start adding uh, to the uh, the actual uh, the actual pod just to make it uh, look a little bit better so I'm gonna go and uh, build up here like this and uh, basically do it the the same on the the other side and uh, just make it look like a uh, one uh, complete alien machine so uh, let me go and uh, let me decide how I want to do this uh, I'm gonna add a few stripes uh, of, uh, of purple wool down here uh, just because I think that purple is quite a, a cool alien color so I can have a stripe of purple here and then the the same on the the other side here and I'm actually make these into like little mini towers as well if I go and uh, build up like this and uh, oh <laughs> looks like I did I break some redstone then why did the the pisses go oh oh I think oh I think Squashy broke some redstone or is this choo choo down here? oh no Squashy be careful breaking blocks around here this is where uh, all of my redstone goes it's okay though I can go and just uh, if I just move this in a little bit closer uh, it should be okay if I just do this and then do this and then put some redstone in the the corner down here it should uh, be uh, all okay yeah but be very careful where you're breaking Squashy <laughs> You don't want to destroy the the uh, the X-ray pod. All right then, uh, I got my little uh, purple towers here. I'll make these uh, go a little bit higher, and then I think on the the top of them, I'm going to add some some redstone blocks. I think would be quite cool. So not redstone dust, uh, but an actual uh, whole block of uh, of redstone. So let me go and uh, make myself uh, a couple of those. I think they're uh, I think I think they're in this section, aren't they? I don't make them much. There we go. Uh, a couple redstone blocks, and actually I may make uh, a few more of them as I can go and uh, add them in on the the other side as well. So let's go and make four redstone blocks, and uh, I can place one on here. And then one on the other side, like... Oh, no, not like that. Nope, not like that either. But, like... Can I get it? There we go. <laughs> Just about. So I can go and add them on there like that. And then I can go and fill uh, all of the uh, the top in uh, with some of the uh, the grey wool as well. Uh, just to make the uh, the entire thing uh, look like one bigger uh, contraption. So if I just go and uh, place uh, a block down uh, so I can uh, jump up. And actually, uh, what I might do is I might add on the, the front. I've got some daylight sensors that I knew I wanted to, to add somewhere. But if I put them down here and make them blue, I think they look quite cool. And then here, I'm going to add the uh, the two stripes uh, of purple wool going across the, the 
the top and then fill the uh, the rest in uh, with some grey wool. I basically I want this machine uh, just to look like if you went to an alien planet and just came across some alien machinery, uh, this would be the uh, the kind of thing uh, that you would find. I want it to all just look a little bit weird. I just want it to be a little bit strange, uh, but look like uh, all of the uh, the buttons and switches uh, could actually do something uh, important uh, just to, to make it work. And oh no, I accidentally broke that away. <laughs> I keep destroying my own redstone here. Let's go and uh, place this uh, repeater uh, back down here and pull it all the, the way back. And uh, now, if I go and pile up here with the uh, the purple again and uh, fill that in there, I'm going to go and add in the, the redstone uh, on the top here and here as well. And I can also uh, go and add in the uh, the daylight sensors again. I'm going to add one uh, down on this side. And so then that way, when you look at the uh, the game from behind, it will still look quite cool and it uh, won't look uh, boring at all. So if I go now and uh, fill the rest of this in here uh, with all of this grey wall, uh, then I think this should then be uh, the uh, the top of the uh, the X-ray pod complete. So then I'm just going to go to the front and uh, just add a bunch of levers and redstone torches and other things uh, just to make it look more mechanical. So uh, let's go and add some redstone torches then, shall we? Uh, I've got one already. Uh, let's go and uh, make myself uh, another one. And I'll put that on, uh, I'll put them on here, maybe like here, like this. And oh, I know what I could do. I could put down a, a redstone lamp. Uh, I could put a redstone lamp down and uh, light that up as well. So uh, let's go and make uh, I'll make two of these and I'll put one uh, here and then one here. And then actually, because I've got the, the redstone blocks, if I did this, ta -da! <laughs> it actually uh, lights it up as well. So that looks uh, quite cool, doesn't it? And uh, there we go. This is looking uh, a little bit more like some alien machinery. I could add some more to it. Let's go and uh, add some buttons down on it, shall we? Uh, let's go and uh, add uh, a few buttons on the, uh, the front here like this. I'll do uh, a couple there and uh, a couple there like that as well and uh, how's that looking um it's looking good let's add some levers on as well shall we uh, let's go and uh, grab a couple levers and oh i don't actually have any cobblestone on me what i'm gonna have to do is i uh, put down some normal stone and then just break it away uh, just to get a, a couple pieces of uh, of cobblestone and then i can go and do that and oh choo choo's coming up have you finished have you finished doing the entire tunnel no way let's go and uh, let's go and uh, check this out shall we let's check out choo choo side this looks cool the only other thing you need to do choo choo is to add uh, a bunch of glowstones if you go and a uh, random break away the other uh, floor and then put down some glowstone uh, then that way uh, it's going to light the area up and I also think it's going to look really cool and alien like so there's a, a bunch of glowstone for you there but this is looking cool this is uh, looking good and well done uh, for, for winning the, the race let me just go and uh, do a quick check actually and to uh, see uh, how well uh, things are going on Squashy's side let's go and uh, have a, a little look down here oh she's almost got it done as well uh, she's now just going and adding in the uh, the glowstone and the uh, the stained clay <laughs> it's been a, a very close race anyway uh, let's, focus in, uh, let's focus on what I'm doing so uh, I need uh, to go and place down my uh, my levers and I'll place them. They can go anywhere really. It doesn't matter. I'll put one there and uh, one there and then in the, the middle I can just put down a, a sign that just says x-ray pods just so everyone knows uh, what this uh, this place is. So nope, that <laughs> would not be a sign. That would be a painting. Let's actually go and make a, a sign this time. There we go. There's a sign. <laughs> so let's go and just put that on the front and then this can just say x-ray pods. So x-ray uh, pods and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a test to go and uh, just make sure uh, that it's actually working. So I've not actually tested uh, the the x-ray pods uh, since uh, I've been over here. I've only really tested them on the other one. And, oh, I'm getting hurt. What's that? Oh, what's going on? What, what, what hit me? What was that? It's a slime. <laughs> it's a slime. Nice job, Flippy. Taking out the, the slime. Well done. <laughs> and now look, we've got the aliens. The aliens have arrived. The slimes. <laughs> they do look like little alien, little alien babies jumping around. <laughs> right. I think this is the x-ray pods. Actually, what I could do as I could add down some some carpet. If I make some, uh, how do I make carpet again? Here we go. If I make down some uh, purple and grey carpet. So there's some purple. And if I go and make some grey as well. Do I keep going past grey? There we go. Uh, there's the grey there. I could actually uh, cover up uh, the uh, the pistons as well. I think will look quite cool. So if I do uh, purple there and there to follow the, the stripes. Then I could do the grey there <laughs> and, uh, and here. Actually, I think when the glowstone goes, it's going to push it off there. But I think that actually looks uh, a little bit better. And let's get this, uh, this crafting table out the other way. And uh, let's go and give the other uh, game a little bit of a test, shall we? And, oh, I just fell down a hole. I do still need to add a little staircase there. But if I go and uh, pull this up, I can now hopefully be able to look through the, the wall for a, a second. There we go. You can see I can look through the wall. And that's exactly uh, what the game's going to be like. And then a second afterwards, uh, it goes and gets uh, pulled back again. This is working perfectly. So let's go now and uh, try and add in a little bit of the uh, the staircase then, shall we? Let's put my uh, crafting table back down here. And uh, I need to go and try and make uh, a sandstone staircase. So uh, let me go here. 
and uh, make a bunch of these. And uh, these are basically uh, going to be the way uh, you get down here. So there's going to be an entrance way uh, just about where Squashy is. There'll be a little doorway uh, here. And then leading up here, uh, there'll be a, a sandstone staircase. You're going to go up here and then up here. And then uh, I guess you can just go and uh, jump up uh, the, the rest of the uh, the way. Uh, so let's just go and fill in the, uh, the last uh, of this little bit here like this. Uh, just so there's uh, one little doorway at the end. Then I can fill this in with uh, sandstone as well. Uh, just so it fits the uh, the rest of the pattern. And yeah, choo choo. If you kind of copy what I'm doing and uh, try and do the uh, the same on the uh, the other side as well. So you climb up here, and then this is just the uh, the little block uh, to keep you in there. I'm going to add some sandstone in the uh, the floor, and then yeah, we can just go and do the the same on this side. And then here uh, are going to be the entrance ways. Uh, how you get into the the actual game? I do believe that Berry Berry Two is pretty much complete. Once this uh, last stairway is done, it's going to be uh, completely done. So we have made uh, some pretty uh, amazing progress uh, so far here. Uh, we got all of the uh, the underground caverns done, and I've completely uh, finished making my X-ray pod. So, uh, Squashy, if you went down in this side here, and I went down in this side here, uh, once the uh, the berries have all been buried, all you need to do is go and look through. Actually, let me do a little quick demonstration. Let's just pretend that the berries are these uh, purple blocks. So you would hide uh, five of them around here, uh, just like this. And then I would have to be here, and then I'd pull the, the lever like this, and I'd have to try and remember where they all are. And then once the uh, the glowstone gets pulled back like that, I'd have to go around here and I then have to break away the ground and try and get exactly where they are. So there we go. I didn't get one there, but if I broke one away there, that would be one point. And then I think there was some back here somewhere as well, maybe about here. And nope, I'm not very good at this game. Oh, I did see a duck for a second there though. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically uh, how the uh, the game is going to work. So in the next episode, I'm going to invite uh, a few more of my Minecraft helpers in and then we can go and have ourselves a Berry Berry 2 tournament. But sadly, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. I want to say a big thank you to uh, Choo Choo and Swayshi uh, for helping out so much and uh, being able to, to get this game uh, ready to be played. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!